This is part three of the presentation on seizure, seizures and autism. This slide shows a list of some, some of the diets that are popular in the autism community. And um, given the number of different diet, potential dietary approaches, it's understandable why there's a lot of confusion surrounding what is an optimal diet for a child who has autism. In my view, the goals of a nutrition program are these. One, and this is, in my view, the most important, is to provide adequate caloric and nutrient intake to support the metabolic needs of the developing brain and body. Another is to reduce inflammation, to restore the health of the gastrointestinal tract by restoring a healthy microbiome and reducing permeability of the gut lining, reducing oxidative stress, and reducing exposure to toxins and enhancing the body's ability to metabolize toxins. Most importantly, nutrition and a, a good approach to nutrition is medically indicated and it should be prescribed for every child who has a chronic health condition. So these are some of the initial steps to our nutrition program. Number one is expansion and that is increasing nutrient-rich foods before eliminating especially in children who have restricted diets or are underweight. Then replacing processed foods with whole foods in their natural form, aiming for low glycemic index foods, organic as much as possible, and then a rotation diet so that foods, uh, so that a variety of foods are eaten and not the same foods day after day. This is a research study that was published looking at um, the use of anticonvulsant medications in individuals who have a range of neuropsychiatric symptoms and also have epileptiform discharges on EEG. So the thinking behind this type of approach is that potentially the use of anticonvulsant medications can impact the abnormal epileptiform discharges and then uh, improve some of the neurological cognitive symptoms that the individuals have. Um, cognitive behavioral and psychiatric symptoms may be clinical correlates of isolated epileptiform discharges, and the pres presence of those discharges may predict positive response of psychiatric symptoms to anticonvulsant medications. And indeed, this study um, showed evidence uh, in favor of those. Now, I'd like to move on and talk about a few things related to sleep disturbance and seizures. So a question that very frequently comes up is, could my child's sleep disturbance be due to seizure? Sleep disturbance can be due to a variety of medical conditions, including seizures, headaches, abdominal symptoms, sleep apnea, and others. And there are several different uh, things to consider when trying to determine what the cause of the sleep dis disturbance is. One is, is the difficulty with sleep onset or interrupted sleep or early awakening and what happens during each of those periods. What is the individual's daytime sleep routine? Are they getting too much sleep during the day? What is the bedtime routine, the sleeping environment, what medications and supplements is the individual taking, and what is the adult's response to the child at night when the child wakes? Because that response uh, can sometimes perpetuate and maintain uh, a disturbed sleep routine. Then um, how do we improve a child's sleep? It begins with a careful discussion about the child's health and the family's complete sleep routine. Um, things like uh, headaches, abdominal symptoms, seizures, sleep apnea, other medical problems, of course, need to be ruled out. Um, and then all of these different considerations which we discussed. Then what is the role of cannabis in seizure treatment? Um, there are now uh, many research studies being done looking at the efficacy of uh, cannabidiol, which is a component of cannabis or uh, marijuana. Um, and it does look to be effective in the treatment of seizures, including seizures that have been refractory to other forms of seizure management like uh, medications. So uh, my feeling is that the use of cannabis, um, and in particular cannabidiol, in the treatment of seizures is going to increase. Uh, one of the views that you may encounter uh, in some medical communities is the view that um, cannabis should not be tried until multiple medications have, um, have been tried and have failed. And I think that too is a view that will change over time where cannabis will be used um, as a treatment for epilepsy much earlier on. 
Um, and then I sometimes get the question, my child doesn't have seizures. Is an EEG still needed? An EEG can still be helpful because a child's only manifestation of their epilepsy may be the symptoms of autism and language delay. And so it's important to identify whether seizures are present because that opens up a whole set of treatment modalities that may be very effective and may improve the child's developmental delay as well. So at our clinic, um, we do a very comprehensive set of medical tests and offer a wide range of different treatments. And what I've listed here are some of the tests that we might do as part of the medical evaluation. And I, I, f I feel that as we move on to offer a higher standard of treatment for children with autism, that um, there need to be uh, several, we should be aiming for several different things, including behavioral and educational interventions that are informed by neuroscience, the rapid conversion of research findings into treatment, a dedicated long-term team of providers whose expertise spans all areas that the child needs, and impeccable coordination of care and communication between providers, and that is what we aim to provide um, at our center. So again, um, just to look at this very simple model of autism treatment um, and to recognize that there are now um, new and emerging behavioral and educational therapies that when combined with optimal, optimal medical care um, can lead to a, a much greater degree of improvement than we have seen in the past. And um, there's a set of programs that we developed at Columbia um, based on the research and clinical experience of Dr. Marion Blank, a developmental psychologist. And more information about these programs can be found at uh, our website, gohmd.com.